Now, top clubs in the Belgian Pro League have voted in favour of an agreement in principle for a cross-border league with the Dutch Eredivisie, dubbed the Benner League. Uh, let's get more on this with the Belgian football expert Christophe Terreur. Um, I think they have to come up with a better name than that, Christophe, first of all, and something that needs to roll off the tongue a little bit more than that. Um, it never, it never, it, nevertheless, the, the Belgian League chief executive, Pierre-Francois, said that it was officially put on the agenda to, to analyse the viability of the chances of success. I'm, I'm guessing this is actually a long way from becoming reality at this point. Well, we've been here before. I think in the 90s this has been discussed. So, um, but it's the first time that there's a real support of all the teams to uh, to start up everything. They're now going to, there have been already like exams and, and uh, uh, companies like Deloitte, they have, uh, have looked at, at how much money they could earn, but still we're a far way of an agreement. But I think the reform and the reformatting of the European leagues is pushing towards this because I think Belgian and, and Dutch clubs fear that they might have less uh, European tickets uh, in the new uh, situation. So uh, the, 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 the Belgian top clubs and some Dutch top clubs are in favor of this, but they will need to convince everybody uh, to get so far. And still, we haven't seen like any concrete proposal of how a, the league would look. And in the end, as it always is in Belgium, when teams fear that they uh, won't get into the, the highest league. They will try everything to, uh, to uh, destabilize everything. So we'll have to see if there will be uh, unanimity when the real plans are on the table. Uh, presumably, given the sort of state of the two leagues in, in Europe, has this been more driven from the Belgian side? Would, would they have more to gain ultimately from a merger with the Dutch? I think uh, competition-wise, yes, because um, like Club Brugge, for instance, they are they are really pushing for the plan. They are now league leader in, in Belgium. They have 19 points in advance, and they want to meet with, with stronger opponents. And I think they are looking towards Ajax, PSV. But I don't think f most fans are... I'm not sure if they are in favour. Like the, the Belgium is a complicated country with a French part, with a Flemish side. The Flemish side leans towards uh, towards Holland. We as, as kids, we were looking at the Dutch league, but the French part doesn't have any connection with Holland. So we'll have to see how that works out, if there would be any, uh, any big buzz about Standard Liège against uh, Ajax, for instance. That will be the main point, like convincing fans to. Money-wise, they, they have already investigated that it, it will probably, they will probably gain 300 million euros extra above on what they're earning right now. So money-wise, it would be a good step. But I'm not sure about what, if the fans are waiting for, for, for Dutch-Belgian merge. Um, just, just give us a, a summary, if you could, Christoph, of, of what the hoops are that need to be jumped through for this to, to actually happen. What stands in the way? Well, um, definitely the, 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 the European tickets, I think, uh, if they merge, they're talking with the UEFA about European tickets. But as it stands now, Belgium have like four or five clubs every year in Europe. Holland has the same. If it becomes only five European tickets, I don't know if, uh, if clubs will be still in favour. They, they will ha want guarantees that they will have enough European tickets because European football is very important for, for the business plans of Belgian, Belgian clubs. Uh, you see what's happening, for instance, at Anderlecht, our biggest club. They haven't been in Europe for three years now and they're str uh, struggling financially because, yeah, Money is important in football, definitely for the smaller clubs. So there will be lots of discussions about money, and we all know what will happen. It, it, we've seen it in England too with, with projects. Or what was it? Project Big Picture and something like that. Hmm. That all clubs think about their, their own uh, their own money, and that's going to be there too. I think for Belgium, uh, lots of discussions. I think we'll need definitely four more, uh, three three more years to get. To, to, uh, to a real merge, I think, if we ever get to that stage. Yeah, nevertheless, the, the tectonic plates in European football are starting to shift, aren't they? And we'll keep a close eye on what's happening in Belgium and the Netherlands.